How's it going everybody? Welcome back to a Midwest family. So today we're doing some ribs. We are celebrating uh, Memorial Day weekend here. Today is Memorial Day, so it's going to be a little after Memorial Day when this comes out. But we're honoring those who gave the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom for this country. So while we're out enjoying this free country that they paid the, sac the, uh, the ultimate sacrifice for, we are going to smoke some ribs today on the pellet smoker and we're gonna just enjoy the day and be thankful that we live in this country so let's get going so i have me some st louis style ribs um i've done baby backs i have never done the st louis style before so this is going to be a little different but i got two racks of these we're gonna try two different rubs today. We're gonna to go with the Famous Dave's Country Roast Chicken and a little rub mix of my own. Um, it's just in an old shaker. We got uh, some coarse ground pepper, some salt, paprika, garlic powder, and some onion powder in it. Um, not very scientific. There's about a tablespoon garlic powder, tablespoon of onion powder, about a tablespoon of paprika, um, about three tablespoons pepper, and about two tablespoons-ish of salt. All right, so we're gonna get these cut open. I like to open the uh, wrap over the sink and try to drain some of that um, juice out in the sink. It doesn't get, make a mess all over the cutting board. Yeah. Do a little jiggle. You just love you some ribs. All right, well, I typically try to have at least one clean hand. Obviously, I've already messed that up, but we get these flipped over. I'm going to leave most of this little, uh, there's a little bit of fat here. I'm going to just peel off maybe a little bit of that. Um, otherwise, just leave the rest of it for flavor. All right, so <clears throat> I like to peel the membrane off. Um, some say you don't need to. Others say you do, so to each their own. If you want to, use a paper towel, get a hold of that, and it usually comes up pretty easy. Obviously, since I'm at least it comes up easy on the baby backs. There's that one. So they don't look like they need much trimming, honestly. Um, yeah, I might just let it ride. I think so. Sweet. So, we're going to do bone side first, and then, um, well, you know, I guess, have knife in hand, we'll cut, right? So, 
All right, I'm done. Uh, we're gonna use the olive oil just a little bit. Um, honestly, I don't think I need it. It's pretty moist and everything already uh, from being in that wrap. But we'll give it a little dribble just in case. Get both sides. Now a lot of people use like just yellow mustard. They say it doesn't change the flavor at all. Um, you can use what you want. I normally don't use a binder like I said, but today we are. Alright, so we're going to use the homemade rub on this one. Look at that. I'm going to use the homemade rub on this one. And try to open it without getting it all dirty. I don't have the the shake down yet, but you will make a mess. Just get over it. It is what it is. Try to get the edges. Now obviously some of this might come in contact with the other set. I'm not too worried about it. Extra flavor. So this is the country roast chicken. Famous Dave's. I don't think I've ever used this on ribs before. So we're going to give it a shot. Try to make a nice even coat. Try to get the edges. There we go. Alright. We're going to let that sweat in for a little bit. And then we're going to flip them over and season the other side. All right, so we let it sweat in for a little bit. Um, probably should wait a little longer. Um, but we're going to flip them over, get that seasoned up, and then get them put out on the smoker. So we're going to flip this one over. don't really want to try to use one hand here. I'm pretty excited. Get this all seasoned up. Two light dustings, like such. This one, I don't. I'm running out of seasoning on this one. It'll be. It'll be. Close. But I think we'll be okay. Look at that, that's like just enough. A little bit more would be nice, but that's all right. All right, we're gonna get these uh, out on the pit. Let's get going. All right, so we're out at the pit. We got the ribs all seasoned up. 
We got the smoker set at 225. We're burning the, what are those, Pecan, pecan pellets? I think we're running uh, pecan pellets today. We're gonna set these out on here. Set them how you want them, nice and straight. We got the fatter side closer to the smokestack because that's going to be the hotter part. And we're going to let them sit for about six hours. So, some people do the three, two, one method. Uh, today we're just going to do six hours or so. Uh, we'll keep an eye on them, but we're not going to spritz them or do anything with it. But we close the lid. We might check it out, check on it in a little bit. But we'll see you then. Stick with us. Alright, so it's we put those on at 11 o'clock. I'm going to put a toothpick in the rack of ribs that we used the uh, seasoning that I made up. Just so we know which one's which. So we got the famous Dave seasoning back here. And we have what seasoning? the seasoning that I made right there. So, we'll see you in six hours. So Alright guys, welcome back. So, it is 4.30. I think it's 4.30 now. So, it hasn't been six hours. It's been five and a half. I haven't done anything with the ribs at four o'clock. So, about at the five hour mark, I started checking the ribs. Um... They were almost done, so I checked them at 4.30, about two seconds ago. And uh, with a toothpick, they're going in nice and smooth. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna pull them. Um, like I said, I haven't spritzed them, I haven't done nothing. We put them on, and that was it. So, we got them on here. We got some banging color going here. We got a little cooling going on. You're looking pretty yummy. Yum. Yeah, buddy. Yummy. All right. So this is the uh, toothpick one. So that's the homemade rub I did, and that's the other rub. So we're gonna get these pulled off. We got the flex. That was the homemade rub. Now we're done. We got the flex. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna shut it off. Hit the power button. Is this one? Yep. Boom. Alright, let's get these inside. We're gonna rest them for uh, 15, 20 minutes or so. And then we'll cut them open. Stick with us. All right, so we're inside. It's been, it's rested for about 15 minutes. We're gonna- Wow, that, that kill me. Bah. We're gonna get them sliced up and get a taste test. Uh, like we said before, we didn't do anything to these ribs. We stuck them on the grill at 225 for about five and a half hours. And the toothpick was going in nice and smooth. So we're gonna get these sliced up for a taste test. Mm -mm -mm. And I don't know why. Look at that. And he's so silly. So silly. He always be so silly. He's yeah. got a dirty face. You got chocolate all over you. Because mm -hmm. I hey cheese. Watch your finger. Cheese, cheese. We'll help cut. Hey no, cheese in there. 
All right, so we're gonna take one of those. That's got the toothpick in it. You're not gonna take it out. It's still. Do I don't know if you can see juicy. it, but there's it's it's all juicy inside. Juicy. So we're gonna try a old the old taste test here. I like that. <laughs> That's good. Me. Me. It comes off the it bites off the bone. That's a good one. Yum yum. And try the other one. That one's nice and juicy still too. Yo. <clears throat> Oh, that's a hard one. It's good. Mm -hmm. I don't know which one's better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. How good. Well, what do you think? Me? Yeah, what do you think? Yeah. Hey, mm -hmm. you, you know, you know what color are these? Orange. <laughs> We've got the bugle monster over here. Bugle monster. Mm mm. Papa mm -hmm. bought them. Oh. <laughs> yum yum. All right, we're gonna have another taste test. <laughs> what do you think? Yum yum. You like it? Mm -hmm. All right. mm. I did vegan. Which one's better? Mm -hmm. That one. Mm -hmm. All right, mom. Do you have the bone? Pick one. No, one of these. <laughs> we gotta try both of them. We'll take that one. Mmm. Yum. Did juice. You like it, Mom? <laughs> Daddy makes some good ribs. <laughs> oh. What do you think? That's good. Alright. You must have flavored this one like you do your brisket. That is very good. Mmm. Try the other one. We'll see. Yeah, those are good. Mmm. They are both very good, but I would say the first one's just a tad better. So the first one... They are both very good, though. The first one had the toothpick in it, so that's Is that just the that's like salt and garlic. That's the uh, the homemade rub with mm -hmm. pepper, garlic, salt, paprika, and onion powder. The other one was the famous Dave's rub. And I like the onions. Both are very very good. All right. Daddy can smoke some meat. All right, so we're gonna sit down and chow down. So we appreciate you guys sticking around and watching. So we hope you stick around for the next video. We'll see you next time. Stay safe. God bless America. <laughs> Don't know. God bless America. See you then. <laughs>